HVAC and building automation systems have and continue to be major markets for Dwyer instruments. Most notable, the Dwyer Magna Helic Gauge remains the hallmark for low pressure indication and measurement due to its time proven field performance. Dwyer's leadership role in this market is accomplished by designing new products with the goal of improving performance while reducing customers' costs. Air Handlers Building automation systems provide the method to give a building a comfortable environment. An air handler is an integral part of the building automation system and provides control of temperature, humidity, pressure and air exchange. Shown is an example of a type of air handler using a water-based temperature system with the products that Dwyer provides for the system highlighted. Damper actuators, series DD, are used to open and close dampers to change the airflow through the air handler. Differential pressure switches, series ADPS, are used as a frozen coil alarm by monitoring the pressure loss across the coils in the duct to indicate a frozen coil condition. They are also used as a dirty filter alarm by monitoring the differential pressure loss across the filter. Humidity transmitters, series RHP, are inserted into the duct and used to monitor the zone discharge humidity. Dual humidity and temperature transmitters, series RHP, are inserted into the duct and used to monitor the exhaust air humidity and temperature. Series TE-D RTD temperature sensors and series TE-A averaging RTD temperature sensors are inserted into the duct and used to monitor the supply air, mix air and exhaust air temperatures. Differential pressure transmitters, series MS, are used with a static pressure sensor or with inherent static probe to monitor discharge air and mixing air duct static pressures. Dwyer offers several products that can be used for fan validation, proving that the fan is operating. The differential pressure switch, series ADPS, can be used by monitoring the differential pressure between upstream and downstream of the fan. Series SCS current switch can be used by monitoring the current usage of the fan. Series DH3 digihelic differential pressure controller, Series MS differential pressure transmitter, Series 641 air velocity transmitter, Series VTT air velocity transmitter, or Series AVU air velocity transmitter can be used by monitoring the airflow or air velocity exiting the fan. Heating and cooling system. There are several ways to heat and cool the air in an air handler. In the example shown with the products that Dwyer provides for the system highlighted, this is accomplished through a heated or chilled water system. The system provides water to an air handler to heat or cool the air temperature as needed. Water mixing valves, series GV slash EVA, three-way globe valves, or series BV3 three-way ball valves are used to mix return and supply water and chilled and heated water together. Series TE-I RTD temperature sensors are inserted into the water pipeline to monitor the system supply, supply return, condenser return, condenser supply, and boiler supply water temperatures. Humidity and temperature transmitters, series RHP, are used outside the building to monitor the outdoor air, humidity, and temperature. Dwyer offers several products that can be used for pump validation, proving that the pump is operating and there is water flow. A differential pressure switch, series DX, or a differential pressure transmitter, series 629, can be used by monitoring the differential pressure between upstream and downstream of the pump. Series SCS current switch can be used by monitoring the current usage of the pump. Paddle flow switches, including our model FS-2 series V8 or series V7, can be used by monitoring the water flow exiting the pump. Series WD and WD2 leak detectors are used to detect leaks of fluids around equipment and valves or to detect full drip pans. Zone control. 
Buildings are often broken down into zones for better control of the HVAC system. These zones can have variable air volume, VAV systems, with a VAV terminal unit or a VAV box. A VAV box controls the airflow into the zone, thereby controlling the environment of the zone. Dwyer offers several products used in zone control. Damper actuators, series DD, are used to control the amount of air added to the zone by opening and closing the air duct via a damper. An air velocity transmitter, series MS, differential pressure transmitter, is used to monitor the duct airflow. The Series MS has square root extraction for direct air velocity indication. Humidity and temperature transmitters, Series RHP-W, are wall mounted in the zone and used to monitor the zone air conditions and determine demand. Series CDT, carbon dioxide and temperature transmitter, are wall mounted in the zone and used to monitor the concentration of carbon dioxide in the zone to determine the occupancy of the zone. The amount of airflow to the zone is then varied based on the occupancy. VAV systems can include heating coils of hot water that the air flows past to heat the air up. Zone valves series ZV1 or ZV2 are used to change the amount of hot water added to the heating coil, changing the air temperature. Ask how Dwyer can help you with lead. This chart shows where Dwyer Instruments products have the potential to help buildings acquire LEED, leadership in energy and environmental design. The LEED Green Building Rating System is the nationally accepted benchmark for design, construction, and operation of high-performance green buildings. Dwyer is proud to be a member of the U.S. Green Building Council and be helping build a greener future. To find out more about LEED, go to www.usgbc.org. To see the product chart and the pertaining Dwyer products, go to www.dwyer-inst.com forward slash lead forward slash lead underscore profile dot cfm.